I'm right now uh, in sunny New York City, and I was uh, until a few days ago get myself ready to go on the road, and um, then out of the blue got this news that our fearless leader had uh, done himself some serious damage and was heading to the hospital in Munich. So I'm still in New York. Uh, the case is half packed, and uh, unfortunately now got the news today that uh, he's he's not going to be able to do anything physical for about eight weeks, which knocks out the, the first part of this tour. I spoke to Bono um, immediately, like a few hours after he came out of uh, the operation, but he was not making any sense, I, I can tell you, whatever he was on. Uh, he didn't remember any of the conversation, um, which is a shame because he promised me his car and various other valuables, a few paintings. But anyway, he, he claims not to remember that conversation. But the next day, uh, we all managed to get him on the phone, and he was really together um, and, you know, sounded great, even though he was clearly in shock um, about the implications of, of the injury. So it was good to hear him kind of back to his, himself, and we, we talked at length about, you know, what this meant, and, uh, and, and we're just dealing with it now. I mean, he was in a kind of fairly intense uh, program to, to be ready for the tour, so something in, the, in that preparation, um, maybe he just overdid it and uh, hurt himself, maybe without realizing it, and it, it could have got worse. But luckily enough, he did realize um, at a certain point, I think when he could no longer walk, that actually he needed to go to the doctor, and uh, thank God he did, because... By the time they got to see him and did the scans, they realized that he'd actually got some fairly major damage. And uh, had he not done anything about it, it, it could have actually been very serious and, and possibly permanent. So it was well kind of caught, I think. Uh, we were very relieved to hear um, when we finally got the medical you know, information that, that he had gone to the doctor when he did. I mean, he's, he's really... Um, so in the moment, he was so looking forward to the tour. He's not somebody who ever really um, takes a look backwards or considers sort of physical, um, you know, limitations. That those are um, those are sort of very much of secondary importance to him. He's just about moving forward at at, at speed. I, I was joking earlier on that this is probably the most rest he'll have had in decades. Is is the you know the few weeks after the operation. But the other thing we have to make sure is that he does follow the doctor's orders in terms of the the program of rehabilitation because knowing him again, he'll probably want to, you know, take some shortcuts and and sort of get ahead of himself. But but really, from what I understand, it's important that he really does this in a very methodical way. And so we'll be there to chain him down if uh, if need be. And though we want to stress that that this is not a cancellation of of this tour; it's a postponement. And we'll be back as soon as we possibly can. We will be back, and it'll be bigger and better than ever. And, uh, you know, in a, in a weird way, it, it's probably good that, that this became evident before the tour started rather than halfway through the tour. So, you know, being philosophical about it, there's, there's kind of some, some positives to, to the way this thing happened. I guess sometime in August we'll be doing a, a pre-production period somewhere in Europe to, to, to open the tour in Turin. We were working on a lot of new songs, so uh, I'm already back at work on new, on songwriting and, and working on stuff for the next U2 record. And we, we are intending to play some new songs live, um, which is something we've always planned to do and never got around to doing for various reasons. So we're really excited about the idea of playing a couple of these new tunes uh, in front of the U2 crowd and That'll give us a huge kind of insight into how they're working, any changes need to be made, the arrangements, the tempos, the whatever. So um, it's it's the ultimate proving ground for a tune is, is is playing it live, and so we'll have the benefit of being able to play a few of them ahead of recording them, which is which is going to be great. When we do get back out there, we'll be absolutely in top uh, condition and uh, just raring to go. So that's that's our focus now.